This is Vern Bang, recipe slang and muck banging it out. Not a pro or a hoe. We're going to be banging it out in this episode. Chisel and nizzle. Wigtastic, it's magic. Spilling the tea on some of them episodes. It's your boy, Vern Bang. And that's why cooking from my soul is the way I go on this multiple mukbang channel. We'll be back for more episodes. All right, y'all, this is Vern Bang. So we're doing a quick little recipe video. So we got some tilapia filet. And so anyways, I got my seasoning mix already ready. This is where I'm gonna put the tilapia. In this little marinating bowl, we're gonna make some ceviche. So ceviche is a recipe. And uh, so I'm gonna show you the raid. Uh, it looks like a lot of spice, but it's really not. It's got one filet, uh, and so I did a controlled, uh, you can put as much spice as you like, but uh, I could kind of went very light because it doesn't take much for seafood. So we did onion powder. We got garlic powder. We have our Valentina seasoning. And of course, got to have those hot dried Thai chilies. And I'll show you what they look like. Oh, yeah. The Nam Prik. Yes. Love these Thai chilies. They're so good. You can get them at your Asian store. Your local market, Asian market. Lemon seasoning, lemon pepper. Donny Satcheries, because I got the Creole blood. And all purpose Greek seasoning. So yeah, those are my seasoning list. And some of them have salt in them, so that's why I'm not adding any salt. Alrighty, so let's get with the let's do these veggies real quick. I like onion, so we're gonna do some onion. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully y'all having a blessed day. In this new year of 2020, baby. So anyways, we want this super thin, so I'm going to use this little mandolin, and we're just going to go straight in, and see how the onion's a little too big, so you can go kind of to the side. Kind of what I do, I'll shave it on the side a little bit. That way it fits. And you kind of put as much onion as you want in. I think there's going to be enough onion for us. So we're good on the onion. And let's see, let's see. What else are we going to use? I'm going to do a clove of fresh garlic. I got garlic powder in there, but 
do some fresh garlic. Let's kick this flavor up a notch. Kick it up, kick it up. We're just gonna take this mandolin and be careful when you're using these because they are sharp. This is one that I got at the little Asian store or the Korean market actually. That's the Asian store that I usually go to all the time because they have everything for everywhere. <laughs> Korean markets are the best in my book. This will just chop up the fine little pieces. I like garlic, so all right. So we got our garlic, and we're gonna do an orange. I like orange on seafood. Um, this depends whether you do or not. I like the contrasting flavor it gives. So we're going to do some orange. And this is not a very sweet orange either. It's kind of bitter, sour. So, it's going to work well with the limes that we're going to use. Alright, so we're just going to use a half an orange. So we got the limes. Let me some limes. These are beautiful limes. They smell really good. Very, very pungent. back up here so you can see and yeah this is a metal one this is the best I don't like the plastic ones because they kind of want to break on you but this metal one by uh, Musa M-U-S-A and it gets all the juice out of there Look at that, y'all. Yeah, these limes are very, very fragrant. That's going to be enough citrus. And since these limes smell very fragrant, I think I'm going to go ahead and use... Go ahead and use my other half of orange. Why not? It's, it's all that juice covered there. Alrighty y'all. So let's get down to the fish. Let me get a Use this knife. So we're gonna stir this up real quick. I want to get this seasoning mixed up. You can see all that goodness in there. So we got the orange, we got the lime, we got all that seasoning that I showed you. 
We got these beautiful onions that are going to be marinating in this juice as well. And now we're going to do the tilapia. So yeah, tilapia comes in a package. This is from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree tilapia. We're balling on a budget. And then it comes in a vacuum seal pack. So, yep. Beautiful, beautiful tilapia filet for Undala. Undala, Undala. Does it say? I think these may be, let's see. Yeah, it's farm raised, but they're raised in tropical waters. Nothing wrong with that. It's very sustainable. Ah, so good. Look at that. So beautiful. Beautiful filet for ceviche. Yeah, I took this out of the freezer last night and just had it sitting in the fridge. Yeah, look at that filet. Ooh, baby. Nice and nice and fresh. Which way should we cut it? Yeah, look at that. So many ways you can cut it. You can cut it at an angle. Another reason I like this knife for fish, you get little bitty pieces like that because it doesn't it's got that coating on there where the fish doesn't stick to it. So we'll probably marinate this for an hour or so. This one we're going to do a different way. We're going to cut this way. Shishimi style, baby. It's nice, beautiful thin pieces. You can cut it however you want. Make the recipe comfortable for your home, your family. I'm just showing you a little simple guideline on how I like to do my simple ceviche. I'm not doing this no fancy way. Just doing a little something different to do a mukbang on my channel. Alrighty guys, so look at all that fish, onions, and you want the marinade to be covering your seafood, that's the way I do it, 
and then this is going to cook in the acid. So this is how you make ceviche. You can add onions, you can add jalapenos. That's why I use the Thai chili to give it some heat. You can add what you want to it. I'm just using what I got in my fridge and we're going to serve this. We'll see how we serve it, won't we? So stay tuned for the mukbang. Peace. This is cooking with Vern Bang. Mm-hmm.